Hey friends, it's Tuesday, May 12th, and I'm here to go over your math lesson with you. Today we're going to learn how to draw angles. So yesterday we measured, or we learned how to measure angles, and today we're going to draw. So I just wanted to remind you of our three types of angles when we're classifying angles. That's still going to be important to remember today. So we have a right angle that's 90 degrees and perfect. Then we have, oh, we've got a cute little angle, less than 90 degrees. And if it's a big angle, it's an obtuse angle, greater than 90 degrees. So keep that in mind, friends, as we do our math for today. Here we have, in just a moment, your math worksheet for today. We're starting on page 9, so make sure you have that ready and your handy, dandy blood pressure. Okay, so today you're doing page nine, pages nine through eleven, and then when you finish with pages nine through eleven, you're going to get on Education Galaxy and work my study plan and do measuring angles. Um, and remember that math should take you about 25, 30 minutes per day. So if you zip through this worksheet and you do it in five minutes, then you should spend 25 minutes on Education Galaxy. And if the worksheet takes you all 25 minutes, then you can skip the Education Galaxy. That's fine. Um, but make sure you're getting your fill of 25 to 30 minutes because, friends, this is a lesson we haven't learned yet. And I want to make sure that you get it and you get good practice with this before you go to fifth grade. Okay? So here we go. Step one. This is what your worksheet says. Draw a ray and mark an end point. Okay? Which will become our vertex. So let's see. They want me to do a 30-degree angle. So I'm going to draw a ray. And I like to make them flat. I mean, you could draw one like this if you wanted. That's perfectly fine. But for me, it's I think it's easier to do it this way. There's my ray. If you also want to be super neat, neat you could have I could have drawn the ray using my the side of my protractor as a ruler, so it's super nice and straight. And there's my vertex or endpoint. It's an endpoint right now because it's not connecting anything. My endpoint and my ray. Okay, step two, place the protractor on the ray, just as you would measure to measure an angle. So I'm going to line up my vertex. Well, now it's an endpoint, but it's going to be a vertex. And the zero mark, okay? Looks good. Now, they want me, this paper says 30 degrees. So think to yourself, friends, is that a cute little angle? Is that a right angle or is that an obtuse angle? You got it. It's an acute angle. Acute angle. I know I said it wrong. Okay, so I line up the zero, I line up the end point, and I'm going to find a 30 on my protractor. So remember that I'm looking at the little numbers because, why? Because it's an acute angle. So I need to look at the numbers that are less than 90. So in this case, here's 30. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my pencil, and I'm going to go right up, and I'm going to make myself a little mark there. Now, I'm going to turn my protractor, and I'm going to play a game called Connect the Dots. I'm going to line up this dot, which is an endpoint, and this dot, and I'm going to connect them. So I'm going to lay that flat. That looks pretty good. I'm going to connect them, and I'm going to make this array. Now this is a vertex, and this is a 30-degree angle. Cool? Cool. Let's try 100. 100. What type of angle? Classify it for me. Yes, it's an obtuse angle. So I know in my head that I'm going to use the big numbers and that it's going to be a bigger angle. So first thing I'm going to do is draw my baseline. And just for funsies, I'll, I'm going to make it go this way. Because you can go either way. It doesn't matter. All right, so this is 100 degrees. So step two, I'm going to place my protractor like I would if I were measuring the angle. So on the end point, on the baseline. And now I'm going to find 100. Oh, here's 100. What did I do wrong? If I mark here as 100 and I draw, I connect it off there, is that going to be an obtuse angle? No, that's going to be acute. So I have to look at the other side, the side that's greater than 90. So let's see. I'm going to look at, I'm going to go past, I'm going to look, start at my baseline. One way you can do this is you start at your baseline and you go, whoop, there's 90. I have to pass the 90 to get to 100. Now I'm going to mark this spot right here, which is 100. Now what? I'm going to play connect it up. I'm going to turn my protractor. 
I'm going to line up the endpoint. I'm going to line up that dot I just made. I'm going to connect the dots and make this array. And I can really, I could write in here 100 degrees. And they do this too, to let you know that it's that angle that you're measuring. This should be like a little circle. That's the symbol. Wow, that looks terrible. Let me try it again. One, zero, zero, and the degree mark. And I could do the same with this one. 30 degrees. See, they give you that degree mark right there. Okay, let's do the next one. 80 degrees. So, draw my base ray. Hey, Ray. Remember? Hey, Ray. Um, okay, 80 degrees. So, classify me. 80 degrees. I'm not going to be acute, right, or obtuse. What do you think? Yeah, it's an acute angle. Perfect, because it's less than 90 degrees. Very good. All right, I'm going to put my endpoint in the line of my endpoint and my base angle. Now let's see, what was the measure of this? Oh, I, I forget and I'm coming. Oh yeah, 80 degrees. Okay. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go, oh, there's 90. I need to go to 80, which is here. I know it's a smaller number. Even though 100 is over it, that would be an angle that's opening up this way. But since my angle is opening up this way, I know this is the, the line I need to use. So there's my 80. I turn my protractor. Connect the two dots. Make it a ray. Now this is a vertex. Oop. 80 degrees. You are doing a fantastic job, my friend. 55 degrees. Yes, that's acute. And maybe I even want to write acute. Acute. <laughs> I know, I'm hilarious. Stop rolling your eyes at me. I see you. I see you. Just like if we were in school, right? I'm going to draw my base. I like to go this way. I only did this one this way just to be different, but I always prefer to open this way. Maybe it's because I'm right-handed. I don't know. 55 degrees. I made my base ray. I'm going to measure it. All right, it's lined up. Looks good. Oh, oh, nope, I went off of it. All right, 55. So I start here. I go, ooh, 55. 50, 1, 2. Oh, that middle line there is, is 55. Make my dot, turn this, and connect the dots. Oh, that was kind of messy. Connect the dots. There we go. That's better. 55 degrees. Okay, friends, you have to do the rest of this page. Oh, check this out. Same kind of thing. Measuring. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> my bad. That's page eight. So you're going to do the rest of page nine. Oh, geez. The rest of page nine. Page 10, which is the same thing. Let me, let's look at this one right here, though. I just want to go over this with you. Same thing. You're going to use the, um, use the protractor to draw the angle. Same thing for here. Let's look at this one. So down here at the bottom, let's do one of these together because I know some of you might have a hard time with these directions. Draw an angle that is described by the given measurement. Then measure and classify the angle. Acute, right, obtuse, or straight. We didn't talk about straight, but what do you think a straight angle would be? Yeah, it would be a straight line. It would be a straight line, and it would measure. Let's look at our protractor. If it were a straight line, what would it measure? Did you figure that? Yeah. Be 100, 180 degrees. You got it. Okay, so this angle, they want me to do one that's greater than 30 and less than 40. So, first of all, we know that's going to be what type of angle? Yeah, that's going to be acute. Acute. So, what's, let's just pick a number greater than 30 and less than 40. I'm going to pick 33 because that was my high school basketball number. 33. So, that's what I'm going to draw. Maybe you want to draw 37. I don't know. Maybe you like 32. I don't know. I'm going to draw my base ray. There's my vertex. Make it a ray. And now I'm going to line up my protractor. And let's see, 33. Oh, I picked a hard one. So there's 30. Zoop up to 30. And I need to come up here and go 1, 2, 3. There's 33. Turn it. Connect the dots. 
Okay. You want to do one more of those together? Do you want to do one more of those together? Okay. So again, greater than 90, less than 150. Well, if it's greater than 90, you're right. It's an obtuse angle. So here I'm going to write obtuse. I mean, greater than 90, less than 150. I could pick 91. I could pick 149. Pick a number. Maybe I want to pick 133 because that was my basketball number and my softball number. You know, my basketball number was number 11. So maybe I'll pick 111. Let's go with 111. Draw my base, Ray. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. And I'm going to try to measure. Pretend I'm measuring. Now I'm going to start here and go zzz, 100, 10, 11. So that'd be one past it, which would be right there. I need to turn and connect the, connect the dots, connect the dots, zzz, connect the dots. There we go. I could do this and I could say, oh, I didn't write that over here. I, this was 33, 111. What, love? No, you're not done. It's not time for you to be done yet. All right, do the rest of this on your own, and then you need to do this page, 111. Use the protractor to find the angle measures below, and then use the protractor to draw each angle. When you're finished, show it to a parent. Have your parent email me, message me, whatever, so I can check off that you did your math for today. If you have any questions, you know how to find me. Have a wonderful rest of your day, my friends. I love you, and I miss you. Take care.